Hello everybody. So in this video, I am giving a practical example of DC imperfection. So the question is this. Determine the DC imperfection for the non-ideal op amp given that the biasing currents that are passing through the op amp are 20 nanoamps in the negative input terminal, 15 nanoamps in the positive input terminal, and the offset voltage set at 5 millivolts. And this is our op amp. So we'll label the following uh, things that we need to label. So VI OS will be equal to 5 millivolts. IB1 will be equal to 20 nanoamps and IB2 will be equal to 15 nanoamps. And now let's start off with our biasing current entering through the negative input terminal. So here it is. This is our uh, current source and as I've said before in my previous video for a bias current entering through the negative input terminal the current's basically throwing through like this it's going from this node and then that current flows all the way to the current source right here to the ground and there's no current flowing either in this branch and in this whole branch as well so VO1 uh, from the basis of Ohm's law would essentially be IB1 times 5 and that would be 100 nanoamps. Moving on, we have our bias current and that's entering, well that's around where our positive input terminal is. And this time, our current is flowing through like this. So what we can do is take these two resistors in parallel. So if we do it, and that would basically be 1 times 3 over 1 plus 3, and that would be 3 over 4 ohms. If we take this resistor, and we have this current source together, we can find what the voltage around here, this uh, branch is, connected straight to the positive input terminal, and that voltage would essentially be equal to this branch right here. So we we'll can label this as V, and this branch would be V as well, and then there's going to be a current going through like this. Because this is a positive value, and this is the ground, then the current has to travel this way because uh, current naturally flows from positive to a lower potential. Excuse me, from a higher to a lower potential. So let's calculate V, shall we? So V is going to be fifteen. times 3 over 4 and that's basically going to be 45 over 4 nano volts so it's 45 nano volts So moving on, we have our bias current that is connected through the positive input terminal 
And now what we have to do is determine what the output voltage is. But before to do that, we have to find what the uh, voltage here is going to be. And that voltage, we can label that as V. And this branch is going to be also have a voltage of V. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these two resistors and then this current source to determine what the voltage is. And the direction at which the uh, current's going to travel is going to be like this. So it's going to travel from the ground to uh, this, this uh, current source. And because it's traveling from the ground, uh, this is going to have indicate a, a negative voltage because current travels from a higher potential to a lower potential. And this is going to be negative as well. So what we can do is to take the uh, equivalent, the paral parallel equivalent resistance of these two, which would basically be 1 times 3 divided by 1 plus 3. And that would be 3 over 4 ohms. And then the voltage is going to be 15 times 3 over 4. And that is basically equal to negative 45 over 4 nanovolts. And I forgot to indicate 10 to the times 10 to the negative 9 because of the nano, but I wrote it down here. So it's negative V, and then this is going to be uh, negative 45 over 4 uh, nanovolts again. So we can label this as negative 45 over 4 times 10 to the negative 9 volts. And then what we can do is we can apply KCL and then once we apply KCL we can calculate the current traveling through uh, the 5 ohms and then later we can find what our uh, output DC2 is going to be. So the current is going to travel like, just like this and what we can do is to determine what this current is going to be. So the current we can label this as I I is going to be 0 minus negative 45 t over 4 times 10 to the negative 9 over 2 and that's basically going to be 45 over 8 times 10 to the negative 9 amps. Now once we got that what we can do is to determine what VO2 is going to be. So the current is going to travel the same as here through this wire. So this uh, is going to be f uh, flowing through uh, the amount of I as well. So I is going to be equal to negative 45 over 4 times 10 to the negative 9 plus or minus, I'm sorry, subtracted by VO2 and this would be over 5 ohms. Now we already know what I is. I is 45 over 8 times 10 to the negative 9 amps. So we can, uh, this value is solved and what we can do is isolate VO2 to determine what the value is. So now what we can do is multiply 5 by both sides and what we get is 45 over 8 times 10 to the negative 9 times 5 over here and then we are left with uh, this numerator on the right side. Now what we can do is bring this over to the left side by adding both sides by this value and our output voltage is going to be negative 3.94 times 10 to the negative 8 volts. So that's our biased current entering through the positive terminal. And as you can tell, it's a lot more complicated than the first one. Now moving on, we have our offset voltage. And this time our offset voltage is located inside this op-amp and we can see that 
uh, in our uh, positive input terminal it is uh, aligned with the higher potential of the offset voltage and then this is the negative part so this part is essentially going to be the same VIOS and here the rest of this branch is going to be equal to zero volts so this is uh, as I have want to remind you guys is equal to five millivolts so what we can do is uh, determine the KCL formation in this node and that would basically be the current's going to enter through like this and we can determine what the current is by taking Ohm's law in this branch so the current is uh, VIOS subtracted by zero over two ohms and that's basically going to be equal to 2.5 milli, uh, milliamps and here we can determine what the the output voltage is going to be just want to cross this out first so we have the same thing as uh, with the bias current entering it's around the positive terminal and that would basically be this equation and then what we can do is multiply uh, both sides by 5 again and then add by, add by this value the offset voltage value and there we go so our output voltage is equal to 5 times 2.5 10 times 10 to the negative 3 amps plus 5 times 10 to the negative 3 volts and that my friend is going to be equal to zero point zero one seven five volts now what we can do is to tally all the output voltages up so our total offset our total DC imperfection value is going to be V O one plus V O two plus VO3 and that's basically when we sub in the values would be one hundred times ten to the negative nine volts for VO1 plus negative three point nine four times ten to the negative eight volts plus 0 0.0175 volts and our fa final value is basically going to be 0.0175 still very minimal but 0 0.07175 and then three zeros again volts and this contributes to the bias and current and that's it that's how we find our DC imperfection I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the near future